In today's video, I'm gonna give you three really simple tips to improve your chipping and pitching straight away that you can take to the course. Check out this video. Welcome back to the True Golf Academy. You've joined me, John Watts, today in my short game area. Today's video is gonna be talking about chipping and pitching, and I'm gonna give you three really simple tips to improve your chipping and pitching straight away. Things I think you can take to the course straight away, no practice time really needed, or at least not a lot of practice time needed, to be able to take these changes, these developments onto the golf course. If you like this uh, video, if you're new to my channel, you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. If you hit the little bell icon, it just notifies you every time a new video goes live also. So uh, I'm just gonna hit some pitch shots here. I'm gonna go towards this middle pin. Uh, on my Huxley green. I think I need to slow this green down. You may have seen if you follow me on my social media, this is a new area to me. Uh, really cleaned it up, but I think I need to, need to slow down the pace of the green. It's a little bit fiery, but I'm going to be hitting some pitch shots here over water, and this is relevant whether we're talking about chipping or pitching. Now, sometimes amateur golfers confuse those two parts, and I don't think the coverage sometimes on the TV helps that. For me, chipping, chip and run is more of a wrist-free, shorter action, getting the ball on the ground sooner. Pitching is where we're elevating the shot there, perhaps is a little bit more risk up because the swing length is longer. It's definitely a shot where it's spending a lot more time airborne. But these tips are actually relevant for both of these points. So I'm gonna to go to this middle pin. I've got to land the ball here around 15 yards to stop to a 20 yard pin. But I, I obviously want more time in the air to stop it. So I am playing this as a pitch. I'm not gonna to go too much into the method in terms of the setup. I have done videos on that before, and I'll put a couple of links here, so well worth checking out some of my previous chipping and pitching videos. So, a couple of simple tips. What do we see amateur golfers do wrong very often? Generally stopping, decelerating into impact, leaving it short. Obviously, if I leave it short here, very destructive, I am swimming in that pond. So what I've got to try and do is make sure there is some acceleration through the golf ball, but I've got to control that speed. This is not a flat out, hit it as hard as you can, so I'm controlling pace, I'm controlling speed. For me to do that, one tip is to grip the golf club very soft, very light. Uh, so if you grip it as tight as you can, that's a 10 on the grip scale, as light as you can, as soft being a one. Let's try and grip it somewhere in the middle. If we're gonna be either way, I'd prefer you to be a four than ever going upwards of fives. So we don't wanna to go too tight with the grip. We wanna feel the weight of the golf club. That's gonna help me create some acceleration. It's also gonna help me do the second part, which is controlling the backswing pace. So I see a lot of golfers going quick, and when they go quick back, they also tend to get long. So quick and long back is a disaster because we know we're gonna hit it too far unless we slow down, decelerate. So what I wanna see here is some acceleration through the ball, and for me, if I go slower, smoother in my backswing, I don't even mind feeling like there's a little pause in my backswing. And it might be a feeling rather than reality. You might think it's there, you look on video and you're like, I can't see that, but it could be a feel for you. That there's just a little bit of time in that transition from backswing to downswing. But smoother, slower here allows the acceleration through. I always want the acceleration and this is the third part for great pitching to be controlled from the body, not the hands. So we're not pulling the handle, we are just rotating our body. Now I'm focusing on upper body, very much when I'm talking about control of shot. Is there lower body involved? Absolutely, the hips are rotating, the core is 100%. This is not stick your lower body and rotate upper body around it. But the dominating force for me is my midsection, so my core, my shoulders, this upper half, really controlling the rotation. So the three things, very soft, very light grip pressure, control the backswing pace, and dominate with your body. Let's give it a go. I'm just said, going to go to that middle pin. It's going to land just a little longer than I want and roll towards the back edge of the green there. But the strike was good. The quality of shot was good. It's coming back off the edge of the green for me, which is helpful. Let's do that again. So very soft, very light with grip pressure. I'm going to control the backswing pace and I'm going to dominate with my body. 
And what you'll have seen there, that was a little bit softer, is I was actually even a little bit slower, a little bit smoother in that backswing. So for me, it felt like there was a little pause. Now you're looking at it, you're gonna say, oh, I didn't see that in there. It may just be a feeling that you get. This part is a little bit slower, a little bit smoother, very, very soft, light, so I can feel the weight of that club and dominate with my body. And I can play that however I want. You know, if I wanna play a higher one, uh, you know, and I'm gonna open up that face, I still need the same things to be true. I still need light grip, control the backswing pace, and dominate with big muscles, body rotating through, not hands hitting at it. If I'm hitting a bog standard bump and run, a chip and run, which I perhaps wouldn't fly this far, it's the same thing, light grip pressure, control backswing pace, dominate with the big muscles, my body turning through. Obviously chip and run, I'm not gonna fly it far enough for this shot, but mechanics are the same. It doesn't matter whether we're talking about chipping or pitching, for me there is a difference between the two there. But the difference is, is how I'm playing the shot with that chip a lot more upright, hands a lot more forwards, no wrist action. Pitching, it's a longer swing. The ball is flying further in the air longer. Pitching covers such a wide range. You know, I'm hitting 15, 20, 30 yard shots here, but actually pitching could be covering up to 100 odd yards. So we've got to be able to control backswing lengths, absolutely. But do I get as stuck on that as pace? Not really. When I'm talking about very, very short, precise shots here, it's controlling speed that I really want to do. Controlling swing length can help you control speed, but it all goes out the window if you're quick in the backswing, tight with the grip. So let me hit one more. I'm gonna to go towards one of the top pins. Let's change it. This is another thing to do. Randomize your practice. So I'm gonna to go towards a top pin, but I'm gonna go very light grip, slow backswing, and then I can control the shot with body rotation. So dominating with body, not with hands. One last one. That was a nice strike. You can see body has really rotated through to control that. Backswing was very smooth, very controlled. If you're struggling with your pitching, these might sound like simple tips. I didn't want to get too technical with this. I've done plenty of those videos and make sure you check them out. But these are simple tips you can take to the course straight away that are definitely going to improve your pitching. If, as I said at the start, you enjoy the content, if this has helped you, hit the thumbs up, share it with as many golfers as you can, and don't forget to subscribe.